Greetings my beloved penguins, this is Mark from Boiling Steam. Today I'm going to be running Chiaki. Forgive me if I don't know how to pronounce that right. It is an open source PS4 remote play client. So I'm going to be demonstrating that today. The operating system I'm using is Salient OS. It is a bit of an obscure operating system. I do have a review on that on Boiling Steam if you're curious to find out what exactly it is. But it's basically an Arch-based distribution with XFCE. So I'm going to go ahead and run Chiaki. And if you're looking for a guide on how to get Chiaki set up, there is a guide on Boiling Steam that I wrote. You can go ahead and take a look at that. So, here's my registered PlayStation. All I'm going to do is double click it. And boom, there is my PlayStation. And that's about as big of a screen as I'm going to get. There is no full screen mode. So, I have my DualShock 4 connected to my PC and I can also navigate the cross media bar with the arrow keys if I so desire. I'm just gonna go ahead and play Final Fantasy 7 Remake. Don't mind the background noise, that is the laundry machine running. There it is. Spoiler alert, I did put about 10 hours of gameplay into this, so there you go. So, I don't know where you've left off in your game, but this may be a spoiler to some. This is the part after Cloud crashes through the church of the roof. Uh, I got that backwards. The church roof. And now he and Aerith are working alongside together. I don't even know where I'm supposed to be going, so just bear with me. This is probably going to be a bit boring. Deck is all clear. Rope's good. Go. Pull him up. Another Turk. A real man on a mission. On the hunt, more like. For me? For you? Don't know. Don't care. Then, let's stick to the back streets? Ah. There will be monsters. Better than Shinra. So the resolution is set to 720p, unfortunately. That is a limitation with the PlayStation itself. It's not some sort of paywall with Chiaki. Chiaki is open source. So the quality isn't as great 
As if you were natively playing, obviously. It's over. That's that. No telling where they'll come from. Monsters instinctively target weaker prey. Hmm. You'd better watch out then, Cloud. <laughs> So it's my turn? Yes, it is. One more shot. Wow, she's pretty powerful. That way is a dead end. They were doing some construction, but quit halfway. Yeah, I'm gonna explore this dead end anyway. I believe this game is capped to 30 frames per second. But I do know that it was made with Unreal Engine. So some of my tax dollars did go to Epic, unfortunately. One thing I will mention is I highly recommend having a wired internet connection from your PlayStation 4 because connecting to Wi-Fi is going to bring a lot of lag. You might have noticed a few stutters already with an ethernet connection, but it's much worse on Wi-Fi. So keep that in mind. That's a little area there. I ah, can't get there. Ah, there we go. Now from what I understand, this isn't the full game. It's going to be distributed in multiple parts. Which I don't exactly blame Square Enix for that. This game is massive. The game itself is 85 gigabytes. That's all it was. I still got no way to figure out how to get around. Hmm.
Okay, here we go. There, check it out. The heart of the slums. <laughs> Still a fair ways off. Well, we did take a detour. Getting tired? No. Me, I'm feeling a bit hungry. How about you? Amazed. You're in for a treat when we make it back. Don't have time for that. You'll want to make time for my mom's cooking. And that's the final word on it. We'll get home quick and eat ourselves stupid. I've got this. Don't you mean we've got this? Here goes. That's it. Let's do this. That's it. That. Steady. I'm waiting. Enough. Was never in doubt. Hey, at least that switch worked. I just want to explore a little more here. Of course I can't. Round the gate. I'm a braver. Whatever. Whatever. What just happened to her? That door that was stuck. Maybe it opens from this side? to me. I don't think so.
Oh! I won't go nowhere. Good idea, Aerith. Yeah, that should do the trick. To relax a little now. Don't forget about the Turks. Ah. Could come at us any time. Uh, Keep an eye out. I'm glad I moved here, but. So, do you think this thing's oh, okay there, Eric. What are they watching? Uh, hey! All right, so I think I'm gonna cut it here. I'm standing inside the gutted shell of Mako Reactor Five. They're working for Wu Tai, isn't it obvious? There's still a lot of smoke oh, rising from the rubble. Using spies so they don't have While to break the ceasefire. While fallen and other debris fire. continue I'm to hinder you. rescue efforts, Those foreign the fires appear to have been mostly extinguished. So if we help catch the bombers, oh, we over get there. a reward or something? Uh, that's the director of Shinra's Advanced yeah. Weaponry Division, isn't it? Hey, enough of that doom and gloom. But would you mind answering a few questions? Targeting reactors. Uh, can you give us any no updates on the status of the reactor? Slots. What kind of so damage did it suffer in the explosion? Are again? we in any danger? <sighs> Mako Reactor 5 has been temporarily shut down and all fires have been successfully extinguished. The situation is under control and the people of our fair city need not worry about any additional complications. We're in the process of conducting a full forensic investigation. But we suspect the device used was similar to that employed in the attack on Mako Reactor 1. The perpetrators of that atrocity were filmed making their escape. These agents of the eco-terrorist group Avalanche are currently believed to be in hiding somewhere in Midgar. And uh, given that this group has now attacked two reactors in quick succession, can they really be stopped before they strike again? What do you think? Uh, well, uh... <laughs> Have no fear. Shinra will keep Midgard.